with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part one of four. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more herding. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Programele noastre oferă multe limbi. Vă puteți uita pe suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. On this planet, there are many souls who undergo a lot, a lot of pain and suffering. It's because of that. They want to be great, perhaps, but they have no experience to deal with the delusion of world and the Maya's test. So they fail, or maybe they want it to fall to see how it goes. And knowing that in this physical world, the Maya would punish any souls who don't stick to moral and virtuous standards. The souls will go along with it willingly until one day they have had enough of it and awaken. Then they long to go home. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan, the embodiment of Buddha's teaching. O Gaza, the world weeps for thee. No more bloodshed, please. There is no actual enemies. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. I'm done. I'm taking care of Amjad, and Amjad actually. He's taking care of me because if he say, Amir, the Israeli is my friend, he is my brother, he gives me the right to live in my country, Israel. And I hear this word every day, the Palestinians are our enemy, and it's, it's not true. He is not my enemy. Manar is not my enemy. Why they say it every day in Facebook and, 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 and our government? Why? Why? Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of church guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. 
Hello, peace protecting viewers. My name is Marjorie. The generous people of Turks and Caicos are moved and inspired by your selfless acts of charity. May you always be blessed with God's benevolent grace. The Turks and Caicos Islands is a 40 island archipelago located near the Bahamas in the North Atlantic Ocean. The entire region is blessed with pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and sunny weather all year round. Turks and Caicos has an exceptional amount of biodiversity with several species of flora and fauna that are unique to the islands. These include the special Caicos pine tree, the swallowtail and the blue butterflies, and the critically endangered rock iwana people whose plant-based diet provides seed dispersal for more than 100 native plant species. The Turks and Caicos barrier reef system is also among the largest in the Atlantic Ocean. Besides providing protection from weather events, the reef is a vital habitat for marine life large and small, from stoplight parrotfish people to the gray reef shark people. The Turks and Caicos people enjoy a lively and distinctive music style, often played with uniquely created instruments such as the kalunka. Music and dance go hand in hand on the islands, where lively styles like whining prevail along with more stately waltzes. Annual events such as the Music and Culture Festival showcase local talent as well as performances by Caribbean and American celebrities. We had a marvelous time discovering the stunning Turks and Caicos with you, intelligent viewers. May your strong faith in God give you the wisdom to overcome any challenge you may face. Does tormenting, confining, and murdering animal people fit in with religious, ethical laws? You know well, it's not. So faithful leaders and faithful citizens, stop it now. Show your moral standard. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worshipped World Honor One Shakyamuni Buddha, vegan, the worshipped Son of God Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the venerated Master and Philosopher Confucius, vegetarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the venerated Master and Philosopher Lao Tzu, vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, vegetarian, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. 
Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on Earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan receives love and recognition from various organizations media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, 
wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the International Vegan Restaurant's Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present Supreme Master Ching Hai's message entitled the Reason Why Souls Come Down to This World, Part 1 of 4, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on November 6, 2023. Russia, go home now. Hi there, lovings. I think I would just have to talk to you because you have been kind of pressuring me to change this world into a paradise as an order from your mind. Things are not that simple, okay? Otherwise, Buddha would have done that. Jesus would have done that. And there would be no need for me to try all my best you change people. You see, before coming into this world, or whatever world, the souls have aspired to become more perfect, greater, somehow, because this is something newly created by Maya and the team. Like the fallen angel, for example, he likes to go against God to prove that he is better. Now, after creating this world, he invited the souls to come down, promising them that they will be greater than what they have been. And the souls, our souls are innocent, then wanted to prove that they can be better or something new, like an adventure. So they volunteered to come down. And of course, if you want to be greater, you have to go through tests and examinations. Remember the story of our Lord Mahavira, when he was still practicing his meditation to get more enlightened, one of the gods in heaven praised him, saying, Oh, Lord Mahavira is this and that and all this, so superb, so wonderful, so courageous, just so exceptional. You know, he liked Lord Mahavira very much. And then one of his subordinates on the side said to the god, Oh, we're not sure about this. Don't praise him too much and too early. Allow me to go down to test him. Otherwise, I don't have as much respect for him as you do. I have to prove it to myself before I can praise him or accept him. That God didn't say anything. So you see, this testing eager being in that heaven came down and manifested himself into all different kinds of terrible beings or situations to test Lord Mahavira. That was before Lord Mahavira became fully enlightened, and he still did not have enough power to even 
go against this uh, diva or whatever you might call him. Definitely, definitely not a very gentle, benevolent being. You can see that. So Lord Mahavira had to endure a lot, a lot of physical suffering as well as a lot of discomfort, maybe psychological, or mental, or emotional. But nevertheless, Lord Mahavira overcame all of them. After 12 years of all kinds of trials and tribulations from this ignoramus subordinate of a small god or some heavens, some kind of heaven god, then he attained total enlightenment. Can you imagine how much suffering he had to go through in all those 12 years? And we only heard some of it through some record, probably by someone who was maybe one of his disciples or maybe some of the divas in heaven who witnessed everything, who used to want to protect Lord Mahavira and knew all that. And then probably the divas manifested himself into human form became his disciple or his companion and wrote it all down. Perhaps Lord Mahavira told people about it, some of it, and some of them maybe recorded it in writing. So we fortunately could know something about Lord Mahavira's practicing time of trial and testing. So now we heard, we know that all souls have a spark of God inside, uh, made in the image of God and God dwells within them even. So you wouldn't know why the soul could be deluded by Maya in order to do this and that, all kinds of things in the world, and let themselves be tested vigorously, cruelly even sometimes. Because the souls want to be something greater than just being a soul, enjoying bliss and happiness given by God, by His love. So now, the similar thing is happening in our world. On this planet, there are many souls who undergo a lot, a lot of pain and suffering. It's because of that. Because they want to be great, perhaps, but they have no experience to deal with the delusional world and the Maya's test. So they fell, or maybe they wanted to fall to see how it goes. And knowing that in this physical world, the Maya would punish any souls who don't stick to moral and virtuous standards. The souls will go along with it willingly until one day they have had enough of it and awaken. Then they long to go home. Whether or not they have been greater than before or just as they were, they want to go home. They have had enough with all these tribulations and trials. Thus, many masters came and went. They still do not listen and go home. So the master's talks or reasonings or logic will appeal only to those who are ready, who endure the most suffering and are full of pain and sorrow in this physical existence. Then they will be willing to come home, following the master's footsteps and our instructions. There are also those who are saintly by nature already, already been trained and tried in many long lifetimes before. Then they will be ready to follow the Master. What the Master spoke, what the Master told and explained, they understood immediately. There is no question in their mind. So they trust the Master at once and follow whatever the Master wants to tell them and teach them. These are the so-called good disciples. They progress fast, they are powerful, and they are very useful and helpful to humankind. Not a lot of them, though, because any master who came down can only take some of his so-called right hand. Those who followed him before or followed her before have already been trained, already been tested, already been purified. They came down purposely to support the Master's mission. These are already kind of saints and sages, or have studied with the Master, been disciples many lifetimes before. 
already liberated, but came down to earth on purpose, just to support their master. Because without a physical connection to this world, they could not help much. The most effective way to help humankind or any beings on this planet is that you have to be there with them in the physical domain and do all kinds of physical things the way beings on this planet do. Also, in order to understand their suffering, okay? Because if they are not suffering together with the humans, then it's very difficult for them to understand human suffering and pain. It's easy to say, okay, you can look and you see, but how many people can you look at? How much suffering can you see? It's not like you can go to all the houses and check out who's suffering, who's not, and what's the number of suffering beings. Because if you don't see it, you don't experience it yourself, it's very difficult to know. It's like a rich man, it's difficult for him to understand the difficulty and the hardship of the homeless person on the street in winter, even, without food, without drink, without sufficient clothing, and without a place to protect himself from the elements. That's why most people, even though they want to do good, they just say, oh, I, I do good, I love animals. They eat the animal people, not thinking twice. They say, oh, I love people, I like to help poor people. But how many of them really go out of their way to help poor people, or to give food to the food bank even, or to give a homeless person a shelter, even as simple as his garden shed or maybe a garage? You see, it's so easy to say it, but difficult to understand. Just like when they were in heaven, they promised God that they can do anything, and do anything to help humans. They will be good, they will be kind, they will be benevolent, all this and that and others. But when they came down to earth, facing situations like other humans have to face daily, then they would not always use the right judgment. They would not be able to react in a righteous way or in a correct way. Because before they go down to this physical domain, they have to take on this uh, instrument called the mind. Yeah, and then when they are in the physical body, they have to take another cope, the brain, which no one needs in the higher levels. See, when you go down all the way, just say maybe from the fourth or the fifth level, you have to go through the third level, the Brahman level, okay? And after that, you have to go through the destructive and constructive level, which is the second level. And then there you get the mind. The mind is equipped with some elementary kind of knowledge and experience of how to deal with this and that situation. But in the world, there are thousands of things to experience and to go through. So the mind cannot always supply all the answers. And thus, the brain has to supply some answers to some situations for the humans to deal with different circumstances. And the same with the people who came down from the higher level. They might be also perplexed and confused for some time. Until they probably met a, a master, another master again, or the reincarnated master who imparted to them the enlightening method, like the Guaning method of the inner heavenly light and inner heavenly melody, meaning the direct teaching of God. Then they will be awakened, enlightened, and they can deal with situations better because they are more enlightened. They have more wisdom, not just worldly knowledge from school, but they have access to the innate wisdom which is inherent in all of us. And now, in this world, there are two sides. We all know that, you know, the positive side and the negative side. So some humans choose to follow the negative because it seems to be very accessible, easy, and you can see the result right away. You can decide to do things which are not godly or heavenly, but it would give them some thrill, you know, some kick temporarily and quickly. So they would follow this type of lifestyle. 
You know, like people, sometimes they are feeling bored or depressed, and then they go out and they grab some animal. People meet in the bar and then they drink some alcohol with it, and they feel the effect right away. You know, like they feel like they are less depressed and they're happier and things like that. Until this effect wear out and they become even more miserable. And the physical side effect also will bite them. They will get more sickness and even more depression and They have to spend more time in the hospital and all kinds of things will affect them and affect their business because they can't think straight due to alcohol and too much animal people meat and the poison from the meat and from the alcohol and they become less and less intelligent so they might not do business very well. They also might not treat their family as well as they want to. Thus, family discord will be evident, will be created and the family breaks up. Also, the broken family will have a great bad effect on the children and the society at large by the consequence of it, because we will have less intelligent people and less happy children, etc. And you can look around our world and you see how messy our world is. It's because people don't give themselves the correct physical fuel for their body, which is like a car. You know, if you give it good fuel, then it runs better and it runs longer, similar to our body. Alcohol and animals, people commit our drugs and wrong stuff that's put into your body. They make your brain, your mind confused. It becomes like a hybrid, so you can't control it. And it will just give you all kinds of false information and you cannot think correctly and rightly, and thirst to keep doing things wrong. And the more wrong you do, the more wrong results will come out. But people have been so deep inside of this kind of trap, so they cannot even realize that they are doing wrong and getting the wrong outcome. Thus, our world is such a misery. Practice ahimsa, non-violence, and veganism, or the practice of a vegan lifestyle, is part of my conviction of ahimsa. Guru Brahma Rishi Mohanji, vegan. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Norfolk Island is one of them. Norfolk Island, Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1913 Any person who ill-treats any animal person or transports an animal individual in a manner that causes unnecessary pain or suffering shall be liable to a penalty. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more herding. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace. So be it. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. Now we are blaming Islam or the Muslims for being terrorists and all that. But they do that when they are provoked. But they don't have such terrible, devilish vows like those in this uh, Jasit group of fanatics. And even one of them became the Pope in the Vatican. Can you believe that? And all the Catholics and the Christians still let him be. Thus, the rotten way by them will continue to spread and ruin our world's godly virtues, morals, and stability. Plus, continue to risk our children's and people's safety, dignity, 
and faith in God. The effect is worse than we can calculate. Пожалуйста, прекратите это кровопролитие. Верните мне моего сына и другим матерям. Верните детей. Прекратите это. Папа, качай. Your parents, women, children are missing you. And you yourself are missing them too. <laughs> By all means, try all your might. Escape Putin's war to stay alive. Bright-minded viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled The Reason Why Souls Come Down to This World, Part 1 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy Part 272, Prophecies by the German seamstress Bertha Dude. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May you always stay in touch with the divine wisdom within. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. Thank you.